welcome back to Keto Homestead with Jess. Today we're going to finish up the beef brisket. So follow along with me and I will show you how. Alright, I got my beef brisket out of the refrigerator. It's been marinating for 24 hours. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in this roasting pan. Just try to get this fit in the best I can. All right, I'm gonna turn my stove on to 250. Make sure there's nothing in the oven. And I'm going to take out my top rack. I'm gonna put the beef brisket in. going to let this cook for 10 hours and I will be back with you when the beef brisket's done all right guys it's been eight hours since I put the beef brisket in the oven so we're gonna go ahead and check that now oh yeah all right so about a couple more hours and I think it'll be done at this point I'm going to put some barbecue sauce on this I have ran out of my homemade barbecue sauce that I made last year, so I am going to go ahead and use G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. It's got two carbs in it. I'm not going to use a whole bunch of this, but I will do a light coating. This is the only sugar-free, gluten-free barbecue sauce I could find in the store. Now, if it was just me eating this, I probably wouldn't put barbecue sauce at all on this. I would have just used my spice rub and called it a day. But because my husband is eating this and other family members, I decided to go ahead and put some barbecue sauce on. All right, I'm going to get this back in the oven, let it cook for two more hours, and I will be back with you when the beef brisket is finished. All right, guys, it's been 10 hours. We're going to pull out the beef brisket. Mm. How is it? Good. Delicious. Mm. 